Welcome back. Our next guest is here to give us a first look at a new look for galleries at the Carnegie Museum in Oakland. Years in the making, the new galleries also have a new name, Crossroads. They feature works that illustrate what happens when art meets politics or cultural concerns. And many of the pieces are new or haven't been shown in decades. The curator behind Crossroads is joining us this morning here on PTL, Eric Crosby, the Richard Armstrong Curator of Modern and Contemporary Art. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me, yes. So this is really exciting. Tell us about Crossroads. So this is a, a new reinterpretation of the modern and contemporary galleries at Carnegie Museum of Art. So there's a, a lot of uh, works, new acquisitions on view, as well as works that haven't been seen for decades. So it's very exciting to uh, mix up those galleries and to offer our visitors uh, new reasons to come out to the museum. And I understand you brought with you some of those delightful exhibits that folks will be able to take a look at. That's right. And, uh, let's go through them and you can kind of describe what they are and, and give people a little uh, sample of what they'll see. Absolutely. All right, here's <clears throat> the first one. So what's this, please, So Eric? what we're looking at here is a, um, a painting by Keith Haring, who was uh, associated with the downtown New York uh, club scene and um, str uh, street art and graffiti. Um, and here, this is a, a gigantic painting hang on, hung on um, an artist-designed wallpaper by the collective General Idea. And they've riffed on the uh, Robert Indiana um, logo of AIDS, uh, of, of love, and, and translated the, the word into AIDS as a kind of political gesture in the 1980s to draw awareness to um, the AIDS crisis. Interesting. Okay, now let's look at the next one. The next one is coming up. And I'd like you to describe for me 150 of these. So yeah, right. So this is a wonderful mm -hmm. group of, of posters uh, designed by a, a, an anonymous feminist collective called the Guerrilla Girls, who are advocating for uh, greater inclusion and equality within the art world for women artists and artists of color. Uh, these are images from a gallery that looks at the ways in which artists are beginning to work in a more politically engaged way in the 1980s. So we're really taking a deep dive in the 1980s in this gallery. So Eric, is it correct that these artists are responding to the world that they are living in? They're not necessarily taking us back in, in history, right. but it's their, I guess, perception of what's going on around them. Absolutely, and that's one of the broader themes of our, of our reinstallation called Crossroads, thinking about how artists make decisions in the world and how they um, shed light for us. They challenge our, our worldview and ask us to think differently. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And I know we have another one. Let's take another look. If you don't mind describing this one, for absolutely. Us, please. This is oh, this is a this is a wonderful installation by the artist Louise Bourgeois, and this is a, a piece that exists in a gallery we've called Night Poetry, which explores the many ways that dreams, hallucinations, nightmares inform the work of artists. So this um, this this gallery kind of transports you into a surrealistic world with a variety of paintings and sculptures, uh, but here the artist has presented a, a sculpture of found doors and perfume bottles on a mirrored uh, pedestal. So this is really unique. What strikes yes. you the most about about Crossroads? Well, I just I like the idea that each gallery offers some new point of entry into the collection. You'll see more works by women artists, artists of color. You'll see uh, uh, a, a range of questions, critical ideas that are uh, that I think are wonderful points of entry for visitors to the museum. Um, it's not an art history textbook, right? Each gallery is offering uh, a new point of relevance for us to consider the role of artists in, in contemporary life. So my hope is that people, um, everyone will find something to connect with here because there are so many different points of entry. A little something for everybody. Yeah. 150 different uh, exhibits. Right? 150 uh -huh. different artworks, many of which haven't been on view for, for decades. Um, a group of paintings and sculptures that were made immediately after um, World War II by a group of artists in, uh, from Northern Europe. Um, the museum has this wonderful, wonderfully deep collection of this material, and it just simply hasn't been on view. So we're really excited uh, to share it in this dynamic presentation. Oh, it's exciting yeah. to see it. Eric yeah. Crosby, thank you so much for coming on PTL today. Thank you for today. having me. Thanks yeah. for sharing this yeah. with us. And again, I want to remind you at home that the Crossroads exhibition is opening today at Carnegie Museum of Art. You got the preview, right? here. This is an ongoing presentation of the museum's collection leading up to the unveiling of the Carnegie International. That will happen this fall, so stay tuned.